The government chief whip says the expulsion of the four rebel NRM MPs should serve as a warning to all other members of the caucus who do not take issues of the caucus seriously. Justin Kasule Lumumba points out that the door is open for members of parliament if they want to apologize for their past actions. Even if they want, they can approach me and I talk to the concerned people, that is the chairman of the party and the secretary general, and they can call for a meeting and they, they, they are given a platform if they want to have another hearing. However, the rebel MPs have made their stand clear, insisting it's not a route they are willing to take. Whoever thinks that we are going to go to NRM to make apologies, I stated very, very clearly, uh, we stood uh, with the people and we are members of parliament who uphold the principle in Article 1 of the Constitution. Political analyst and Makere University lecturer Professor Mwangushan Debesa attributes the actions of the rebel MPs on what he describes as a wave of dissent in the country. We have heard in the recent past the rebel speaker of parliament, the rebel uh, ministers, the rebel bishops, the rebel civil society organizations. So it seems there is an air of rebellion. But you should ask the question, why this phenomenon of rebellion? And while the ruling party's move to expel these MPs appears geared towards protecting and maintaining the authority of the party, it could very easily achieve the reverse. It can go two ways. One, the rebel MPs may get sympathy, uh, both from the public out there and from the party, and you end up having the NRM party becoming the, 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 the rebels, and it can easily disintegrate the party. Opposition parties caught up in their own internal dissent are keenly following the events in the ruling party. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.